Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator, and today I'm going to show you a new way to create a logo for your business or site through Gator Builder's new Logo Maker. Let's get started. Now remember, if you like our content, please feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. You can always leave a comment too if you want to ask us questions or if you want us to create new content specifically for you. So I'm logged in here at Gator.com, which is the way to get into the new Gator Builder. You can create a really, really simple site as quickly as you want to. They actually have a great logo maker as well. So if you want to create a logo for your business, your site, really anything in the world, then go ahead and use the logo maker here on the left hand side. Now, if you've already created a logo, you can see them here. I've already created one earlier today, but I kind of want to create a different one too. On the right hand side, you can come up here and click create logo to start this whole process over again. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is to type in the name of your brand or your business or your site. I'm going to create a Gator Surf logo today. You can type in the brand name here and then also a slogan if you want to. But as soon as you type in your brand name, you can see that they already start to populate through AI a whole host of new icons and logos that you can start to use. Really all you have to do here is scroll through until you find one that catches your eye. Click the more button down here to keep scrolling through. I want something that has a surfboard in it, but I also want something that has maybe a little bit of a different format than my earlier one that was kind of more triangle. So I'm gonna keep scrolling through here until I find something. You can see a bunch of cool new logos here. I really like this. It's kind of minimalistic and it's got a really nice gator at the top. I'm gonna to click this. It's gonna to start to populate that logo so you can make changes to the details, the colors, the fonts, anything you want. Starting here on the left hand side, you can see that we can still change the name if we want to. You can toggle the multi-line to do it all on one line. I like that split level there. Toggle the capitalization, kind of like the uppercase and lowercase. You can change the color mix of the font as well. As you can see, it's starting to kind of pull in a different color for that. I like it all the same color here as well. So toggling the font size, letter spacing, the line height, really anything that you want to change. Click on the colors here and we can start to change some of the actual color shape that we're working on. As you can see here, we've already got a theme that's set, and if you want to, you can explore new themes. I'm going to go with some green here, so I'm going to go for this one right. Now let's start to change some of the content that we have. I would actually like the gator symbol itself to be green, so I'm going to click on the symbol here. Change that to green. And now I want to make sure that this is maybe just a little bit of a lighter green or a black. I like that as well. We can change that font if we want to as well. Now they're all the same color. I kind of want to go back and actually use that as black. There we go. I kind of like that. This looks great. As soon as you've got a logo that you like, all you need to do is go up to the top right hand corner and click download. It's going to prepare this so that it gives you a full zip file of a PNG and a .svg. Now your logo pack is ready. Click save files. Bottom left hand corner of your screen, it'll be downloaded into your downloads folder. As we can see, I've got a zip file with all of my content there now, so I can send it to whoever needs it, my developer, my friend, and get some feedback on it if I want to. But that's officially it. You created your first new logo inside of LogoMaker. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, y'all.